Good morning. So it's a Monday morning. I am just chilling with Soraya as I'm babysitting since 7.30 this morning. Bright and early it was. So I went to get my CPAP machine. I'm going to try it out for two weeks and see how that goes. And uh, so yeah, so I have Soraya here. See, I'll show you. She's right there watching Peppa Pig. So anyways, I'm working at 3 o'clock. Her mom's going to come pick her up. And then, uh, well, who's that? Did you talk so are you? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna watch a little bit, well, I'm gonna read a little bit more of uh, Short of Glass later tonight. Hopefully it's gonna be quiet because I'm extremely tired, but we'll see how it goes tonight. So anyways, I'm just gonna go and uh, watch her. We're watching Peppa Pig, as you can see in the background. And uh, I'll update you tonight on where I'm at. I think I'm at 120 pages till now, and it's very good. I'm loving it. Did you hi or bye? Did you buy? Did you buy? Bye. 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 <laughs> Good evening. So it's Tuesday evening. Um, I look very tired because I'm in the process of trying to handle having a CPAP machine. Uh, last night was a horrible sleep, but I feel like I just, I was turning and turning and turning, but I could actually like sleep. So it's weird anyways. So I am currently uh, listening to the Throne of Glass audiobook. I'm at page two, 200, chapter 27. It is, I didn't expect to be this good. Like for me, you know, nothing could have been like thrown like a guitar. And this is doing it. So it's really good. So right now I am listening to this. I actually just finished listening for like a full three hours so I'm gonna go and watch Bachelorette because I like that kind of drama <laughs> it's funny and you guys are freaking idiots sorry for my swearing so anyways so I just found out that Daniel Rollins is coming out with a book and I'm so excited it's gonna be stolen Time by Daniel Rowland. Um, I'll put the picture like right here on like what the cover is. Like it's not even out. Nobody has read it. No arcs or anything. And it's at 3.75. So you see that people really want to read it. It's really about um, a girl and a boy. The girl lives in uh, Seattle in 19 something like really 1900s anyways. And um, she she's forced to marry a guy. Uh, she's not interested in marrying that guy, uh, so she tries to run away. But then in 2077, so in the future, there's this guy, he needs to meet somebody, and he, go, he needs to go back in time, so he makes a um, time machine, and by accident, he kind of brings her back to 2077. They kind of meet, because he has to go in her time, and she freaks out by seeing like everything's going on, so it's going to be like... I'm very excited for it. And uh, also, Kara Thomas, uh, I think it's The Cheerleaders. Uh, it's a new book too, and she was really good. She, I'll put the cover here. It's, uh, she, um, I did the review about hers. It's The Little, The Monsters, The Little Monsters. Um, so, anyways, I'll put the cover right here, and I'm very excited for it. So anyways, so, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna continue re uh, listening to Toronto Glass maybe later. I just wanna watch Bachelor right now. And I'll update you tomorrow on where I'm at. I should finish this book soon. Um, I do need to do my wrap up and my TBR this week, but I'm off Thursday and Friday, so I know I can do it. And there's one video coming out Thursday, one Friday. And my book outlet order, I just checked on the tracking and it's it says it's gonna be delivered on Thursday, but I have a feeling I'm gonna get it tomorrow. So we'll see where it is. But I'm very excited for that one also. So yes, more books. So you'll see all the books on here. So, anyways, I'm just gonna go watch that. Um, I'm still working at the moment. I'm very tired as you can see. I have like zero makeup in the week when I don't do videos, I don't put makeup, or else my skin just can't breathe. So, so anyways. 
I'm just gonna go and uh, work a little bit and I'll see you back later. Bye. Hey guys, so yeah, I just finished videotaping so my wrap up and uh, my TBR, so that's why I'm all dolled up, I guess, or just makeup. Anyways, uh, so yeah, happy Thursday, Wednesday, sorry I messed up. Um, today uh, is my last work day um, before the weekend, so I'm off tomorrow and in Friday, very excited. So I mean, so I'm gonna continue reading A Throne of Glass. I am at page uh, 210 and it's so good. I'm, use, I'm using the audiobook right now though, but it's like really, really good. Like I'm very impressed on the story. Like it goes twists and turns and it's really interesting. Um, yeah, so thank you so much, Jen, for letting me know to read it. Um, but yeah, I messaged her last night saying like, oh my god, this is so good. And she's like, I told you. So yeah, she told me. <laughs> so I'm very excited. So yeah, I just picked up my TBR. So uh, after this one, it's either going to be City of Bones, uh, Fable, Station Eleven, Red Queen, Fireworks, or Behind Closed Doors. Um, not sure which one I'm going to pick, but we'll see. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I'm just going to go and finish well, continue reading Throne of Glass. Still have 300 pages. I don't think I'll read that in one day. Um, maybe 50 or so. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just going to go eat a little bit and uh, just relax. And I'll uh, see you later today. I'll update you more today, tonight, like what's, where I'm at and everything. So have a wonderful day. See you after. Bye. Good morning. So it's uh, Thursday morning. I just woke up. It's uh, 10 12. I actually, well, woke up like an hour ago. I just posted my video, uh, my June wrap up. If you want to go take a look, you've probably already seen it, but if you haven't, um, I'll link it below. Um, so yeah, so I'm just uh, chilling, waiting on the mail per the mail lady. Uh, she's bringing me my uh, book outlet order. I'm very excited I'm gonna get it later so I'll show you later today um, so yeah I'm just hanging out with my cats um, obviously the older ones are sleeping and the younger one which is Goku is going nuts so anyways I'm just gonna go and uh, listen to a throne of glass or slash reading it and then um, I, I am reading um, I'll put the name right here I can't remember what it is. It's on uh, uh, on ebook, so um, I bought it like in January, and I just haven't taken the time to actually read it. So, anyways, yeah. So I'm just gonna go and read a little bit. Um, I'm off for two days. Yay! So um, I'm not doing much, just cleaning and cleaning, and make sure everything's okay for next week because I'm working seven days in a row. Well, not really, but yes. So anyways, I'll see you later. Bye. Good afternoon. So look what I got. I got my order. Order. Sorry, can't speak today. So I'm just going to go and show you some books. Taped it good, I think. Hope everyone's doing good. all the way down okay all right, so I got my order so paper <laughs> I like doing this all right so the first one that I got is um that there it's Anne of Green Gables and it is the puffin in bloom and I'm very excited it's the hardcover like it's the really pretty ones see and uh, in the back says, looking forward to things and have, is have the pleasure of them. So that's a book. Very pretty. Second one is beautiful, well, there's a sticker on it, but it's uh, Beautiful Addictions. This one was $1.99. And one hell of a ride, just romantic suspense. Josie Bank is a girl without a past after being 
found unconscious with no memory. She was shuffled in and out of foster homes where she suffered years of abuse and experienced that left her broken damage and uh, cling to drugs and meaning to hook up to numb her pain. So she meets this guy. Hopefully he's going to help her out. So this is one. And yeah, it's a pretty one. Got this one. Say so it says it's from Emma Harrison and it's escaping perfect. This one here. My heart pounded out of control. I couldn't breathe. Hard to get out of there. So that's one of the taglines on it. Romance, obviously. I kind of like my romance. So that's why. Sorry, I'm really warm. It's like 32 in here. Apparently the heat decided to come when I was off. So Then I have uh, Amy Christine Parker Astray. Okay, so this is the second one. I didn't even look, so I'll eventually need to buy or read the first one. Her life was based on the lie, who should she love, who should she hate. That's one. Romance also, probably. And then I have here a suicide note from Beautiful Girls. Uh, this one I've heard good things about, so I wasn't sure if um, like to get it or not, but it was... Let's see, I'm just gonna check how much it was. It was five dollars, so that's why I pick it up. So it's pretty good. It says they say Delilah burned herself to death in her stepfather's shed. They say it was suicide, but I have a feeling that it's not there's one that's not really suicide, they're not sure of. So that's one of them. Then I got 99 Days by Katie Kachugno. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited for this one. I've heard really good things on uh, Booktube from Haley and Bookland and all sorts of Booktubers that have read it. So I'm just gonna try to read this one. And um, let's see in the back says, Praise for How to Love, a vibrant sparkling narrative. Let's see here. Day one, Julie Donnell eggs my house first night back in Star Lake. Okay, so it's, I like the end. That's a pretty cover look. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Beautiful pictures too. 99 days. Huh. So anyways, I'm gonna read this one also. And then I have one more. Oof, I didn't know this one was a big one. Arcadia by James Treadwell. Uh, this one I just read in the back, like in just description, and it seemed really good. I mean, I paid uh, two ninety nine, so you can't go wrong, really. Uh, so yeah, this one here uh, says the world will never be the same. It's a year and a half after the event of Anarchy, and the world is alive with magic in his third aston astonishingly imaginative novel. On a tiny archipelago, out of sight of the rest of the world, lives Rory, a 10-year-old boy. He and his mother and handful of survivors live an exhausting and precocious existence, entirely isolated. And uh, the sea is alive and angry. Every man Rory can remember. Okay, so this one here is everyone that, every man that goes in the water around, like anywhere around their island where they live, they end up drowning. So it turns out um, one night for the first time since the world changed and the curse descended, strangers appear on the island. They're on their way to England seeking powerful magic ring. So seems interesting. So it's Arcadia James Treadwell. So that was the last one that I got. So I'm very excited about my haul. I mean, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books for $24. Um, I did have a coupon for five dollars off and a ten dollars off also so these are the books <laughs> and uh, I think I received another coupon I think yeah another five dollars off I think this starting to like me <laughs> I'm very excited about this one though yeah so uh, I'm very excited I will eventually do more book outlet hauls. I just love doing these. But yeah, so these are the books that I received. And uh, I'll uh, continue reading 
a turn of glass and I'll tell you how it is and I might start reading one of them not sure we'll see all right thank you good morning well it's 12.03 first of July so happy Canada day um, yeah I had a rough two days uh, very tired all the time just because of the new machine but I am at 38% done on uh, I never remember the name just give me a sec I'll give you the name hope everyone's doing good so yeah it's the wicked deep so yeah I am at 38% on the wicked deep um, till now I'm loving it so much like it's really intriguing I want to know what's gonna happen and it's like I love like there's a little bit of history about the three witches the three sisters the swan girls um, but till now like I'm giving it a four stars for sure but I'm only 38% done so I'm not through it I am listening to a throne of glass since I um, finally can listen to it since I'm working right now um, sorry for the sweat like right now there's like a big heat thing going on like it's 31 degrees and I don't even know if it's like weight Fahrenheit or not so it's like really really warm I was in my bedroom all day just sleeping with air conditions and so now I'm just like uh, so you could probably uh, hear the fan in the background just because I need it or I was going to have a stroke. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I'm going to continue reading uh, Throne of Glass, um, maybe read a little bit, um, maybe plan some videos to do next week. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to come up with for Thursday. I do have some book tags that I really want to do um, that I've saw on a smaller channel. Uh, so I want to support smaller channels so we can all grow together. Um, I know it's cheesy, but it's true. <laughs> so yeah, just going to work, um, watch a little bit of Friends. I've been hooked up on Friends. I'm so excited that Rachel is pregnant. I Yeah, I'm the one that never watched Friends before, so it's my first time. And I just love how uh, Rachel is pregnant and Ross is like starting to get jealous for her when she's dating people. And uh, Monica and Chandler are married, so it's just very happy in this show. I love it. And just the way like how like Joey is such an idiot, but you just have to love him. He's just hilarious. So yeah, so I'm just gonna read a little bit, chillax, and I'll uh, update you later if I finish of glass or not I still have uh, five hours and 36 minutes of audio but that's on the regular one and usually I go uh, really fast on my audiobook like I do the fullest speed so I might get further but we'll see so anyways yeah so I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll uh, update you later bye I just wanted to wrap this video up. I am 50% done. Uh, I'll put the title here. It's deep something, and I just can't remember. I'm not good at remembering titles when I'm just when I'm reading on ebook. Uh, I'm loving it so far. I am gonna do a review as soon as I can. Uh, probably be my Thursday video once I'm done with it. And then I am uh, 300 pages in uh, Throne of Glass loving it so much um, I think next one though I'm gonna read it because doing with audiobook is just it's hard to remember a few things um, but yeah it's amazing right now I'm giving it 3.5 to 4 stars for sure so yeah today I didn't do much I actually um, went on a walk I slept because I'm working right now um, uh, from 11 p.m. till 7 a.m. so I'm walking zombie <laughs> but i have coffee so it's all good so anyways yeah i'm just gonna wrap this video up um comment down below like and subscribe and let me know what you think of this video so thank you so much for watching this vlog and i'll see you back next monday bye